We are joined here today with Don May, CEO, Domino's Pizzas. Welcome, Don. Thank you. Tell us about your position in the marketplace and what's made you so unique. Yeah, we're the market leader here in uh, Australia and uh, our business obviously is in five countries. Uh, we're the market leader in Australia, the market leader in France and the market leader in the Netherlands um, and number two player in New Zealand and Belgium. And uh, our market share in Australia is almost 50% of chain pizza um, and about a, uh, a quarter of all pizza consumed in Australia. And uh, when you talk about independence um, brought into the mix. Um, and uh, I think the, the key driver for Domino's has been that we've presented just some unique value and innovation in the marketplace that continues to excite customers and has allowed us to continue to grow. With your success of your iPhone applications and your online ordering, why is this so important to the Domino's Pizza business? Yeah, digital uh, marketing and digital media um, and, and digital platforms are the future for our industry. Um, you know, there's one, something quite unique about the pizza industry in that uh, most of us make a pizza fresh to order and that takes time and one of the things that online and iPhones allow you to do is you're able to place your order in advance um, in a really uh, novel and unique way that creates a lot of value for the customer and, um, and that's uh, something that's quite exciting uh, for, for our future customers and we want to make sure that we're at the forefront of that. Uh, today it's almost 30% uh, of our business in Australia and, um, and we think it's going to be 50% within the next three years. What makes Domino's unique in the marketplace that you operate and how do you differentiate yourselves in the marketplace? Our first platform is value. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that we have a, a great product, a great service and a great image around a very sharp price point. And therefore we have to be very efficient, um, of which we are, and technology helps us in that area. Um, but by and large, uh, we continue to look at our business to make sure that uh, we're very efficient. So value is our first platform in those areas. Uh, the other thing is we're just very innovative. We've been at the forefront of bringing a lot of very unique ideas uh, to the customer. You know, the fact that you can place an order on an iPhone, um, that you know, Domino's is offering you a, new, a unique lunch product these days in the oven baked sandwiches. Um, the fact that we've been able to bring out a good choice range, something that uh, every product is under 390 calories and yet really high quality, really high taste, almost gourmet. So you know, they're very unique things and uh, we continue to innovate and that's what's uh, helped to, to keep us the market leader. What plans do you have for growing the business in the next 12 months? Um, we play with a lot of different platforms, so we still have about another 100 stores to open in Australia, which we're in the amongst of doing, um, and, uh, and we've got you know, another 700 stores to open in our European business, so we've got phenomenal growth still ahead of us. Uh, but one of the things that we're doing is we're continuing to innovate in those platforms that we have. Uh, we just opened up a, uh, a restaurant um, in, uh, in France. Um, so more, when I say a restaurant, something more similar to what you might see at a McDonald's, which is unique to Domino's because our heritage is home delivered pizza. But in France, where we're the clear market leader, it's, uh, it's something very exciting. And, uh, and so we're playing and innovating um, with about four or five different platforms, um, of which you know, we hope one or two of those will come off and help us to continue to grow. Given the changing landscape of the Australian fast food industry, what are some of the challenges you think you'll have to overcome? I think one of the biggest challenges for our industry, um, if you just look uh, specifically at Australia, is the cost of the future labour costs that we're going to um, have to pay. Um, or modernisation is a huge burden on the Australian economy and a huge burden on the fast food business um, because it's going to wind back the clock uh, to the 70s with uh, you know penalties on weekends, penalties after nine o'clock, and um, and unfortunately that's got to be passed on some way or form to the customer, and uh, because ultimately they're just too penalising. And, um, and so that's, that's a, one of the big challenges. The other um, big challenge will be the hyperinflation of food over the next decade. Um, you know, we've, we've seen a downturn in food, uh, the commodity costs over the last 12 months, um, but we expect that to escalate again over the next 10 years. So the cost of ingredients are going to skyrocket, largely based on the fact of trying to feed uh, China and India. And, um, and the world food baskets, there's not a lot of excess uh, product that's produced, so therefore it's just going to drive up the you know, demand from China and India is going to drive up those cost base. So when you've got your two biggest input costs likely to skyrocket over the next um, you know, five to ten years, they're big challenges for our industry and um, 
And what Domino's is going to do about that is, is a little bit unique and proprietary, but we think about it all the time and we do have plans in place um, and strategies in place to make sure that we can be at the forefront um, or make sure we can cope with those costs, but they're going to be challenging. Well, thank you very much, Don. This has been QSR Media.